Okay, so let's um, type the APN settings for uh, Ultra Mobile in this uh, Sky 6.0 phone and also applies to any other smartphone from T-Mobile or AT&T and the AT&T phone has to be unlocked in order to work under Ultra Mobile, okay? And you're gonna start going to uh, settings, okay? Settings and you're gonna use uh, the more in this side, so touch more and then next step you're gonna use the mobile networks okay um, next step we are going to use access point names which is right here the second from the bottom okay so this one already has some uh, APNs on it so you can you can just uh, edit any of these uh, APNs if your phone already has one or if not you can just uh, go to the top right of the screen and select a new one okay a new APN and if it has your case uh, let's uh, let's uh, do it right here if not just type any of those and, and, and edit it okay so we're going to have a new page now then uh, we're going to try to focus very clear on this uh, so you can see the uh, names okay so you want to use the top one okay name so you're gonna type there the work ultra mobile capital U ultra space capital M mobile P I L E okay ultra mobile then hit OK to save it the next one is APN APN you're gonna type the word word W H O L E S A L E wholesale. Okay. I hope you can see it properly on the screen. I'm gonna try to focus. Okay, wholesale. So when the wholesale board is, so just select OK to save it, and um, just leave it blank. APN type, proxy port, username, password. Everything remains in in blank. Okay. And as it is, if you see values there, just okay, just leave it there. And we're gonna go to the uh, right tab on the screen, and you're gonna save it. Okay, so save. Okay, so now we see Ultra Mobile here. We're gonna touch the circle to activate it, and it is activated. Okay. Now we're gonna open a new page, um, and this second one we're not, we are not able to. Uh, edit it. We need to open a new one. Okay, the first AP APN we can edit any of these, but the second one we need to open a new one. So let's go to the right top corner and open a new APN. Okay, now on the name area you wanna type Ultra Mobile MMS. So Ultra Mobile, the U capital, Ultra Space Mobile. Uh, space M capital M capital S capital and then hit OK right APN you're gonna type the same wholesale W H O L E S A L E okay wholesale then you type OK and then APN type is in blank, proxy lives in blank, port is blank, username is blank, password is blank, server. Now MMSC. We are going to type H T T P then column then slash 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 then the word w h o l e s a l e whole cell then that and then m m s m v n o m b n o 
then I'm sorry no space just go to that that come okay and then slash and the uh, m m s and then slash w a p as a peter e edward n nancy c cat weapon okay now hit okay perfect so you already wrote the uh, multimedia address we're gonna leave in blank mms proxy port mcc stay as it is everything else remains the same okay and we are going on the wrap right tab of the screen and you're gonna save it so hit there I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry okay so now right there and then it says save so we're gonna save okay and you see the ultra mobile MMS okay don't worry you don't have to touch that one okay you only need to be uh, touch on the ultra mobile health cell only so it's the only one highlighted okay so this is the uh, APN series for the ultra mobile on this uh, sky phone and like I said before, applies to any AT&T unlocked phone and T-Mobile to use it on, the, on, on, on Ultra Mobile. So when you when you done, when you finish, just go back, okay? And you uh, supposed to see a 3G or 4G on the tab screen, uh, showing the type of network that you are working on it. So if you don't see anything, uh, just uh, reboot your phone reboot your phone and uh, you will be able to, to see or even even if you see the 3G here just reboot the phone okay so that helps to configure better to activate everything ready and and also um, in case that it doesn't uh, work or something or you know, any troubleshoot that you need uh, just go back to mobile networks okay access point names okay I'm sorry just go back here right here Okay, so you see that you see options, network operators, right? So just hit that one and select manually. Hit OK. And the phone will start to connect or refresh the settings with the network. Okay, and uh, on the screen will appear some uh, carriers, which is Ultramobile or T-Mobile or Cosmar or Simple Mobile. Applies to any carrier that you are configuring APN on your phone. So once uh, you see the carrier, just hit select. Okay. All right. So right now we see here Ultra Mobile 3G. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna select the higher one, right? So it's gonna be 3G. Register on network at the bottom. You see the message here. Register on network. Okay. So that means uh, is everything is okay. And if Sometimes you're gonna get a message saying that unable to connect, unable to register on network. Okay, so that will be some uh, things to consider. Um, sometimes the SIM card slot uh, has been damaged. Okay, so you need to replace it. Second one is that your phone might be blocked on or blacklisted from AT&T or T-Mobile. Like some customers, they uh, don't finish pay off their phone, or they um, report the phone as a stolen or lost, or they claim warranty on it, and they're supposed to send that phone back to the carrier, but they never did. They never did. So, what they do now is that they block the IMEI. So, we verify if the phone is in blacklist, then um, it won't work. Okay, in no matter if you unlock it, if you have reset it, or uh, it won't work. So the only thing is um, buy a new uh, motherboard and replace it. But a good one. 